Hello friends, welcome once again our YouTube channel Dr. Bhushan's Biology. Today we are going to discuss about sex chromosomes. Before that, if you haven't subscribed our channel, just go on YouTube, type Dr. Bhushan's Biology search and then we have to just press subscribe button or bell icon to subscribe our chain okay let's move to sex chromosome the sex chromosome this word itself indicate the definition of sex chromosome then how we how we define our sex chromosome the chromosome which are which are responsible for responsible for determination of sex for determination of sex it's called sex chromosome it's called sex chromosomes now you understand the chromosomes which are responsible for determination of sex is called as sex chromosomes in human in human or other mammals mammals means what organism who have mammary gland mammary gland the example of mammals human then another example cow dog elephants these are comes under the mammalian category okay so the human mammals and human have sex chromosome x and y x and y chromosome as a sex chromosome sex chromosome now we are moving to here you can see in definition we have used this word determination of sex if we think about human okay so human have how many pairs of chromosome human have 23 pairs of chromosome out of these 23 pairs 22 pairs are autosomes 22 pairs are autosomes and one remaining pair is sex chromosome one pair is of sex chromosome now here we use determine word determine means what when we think about human female and human male then in human female if you want to detect or um, identify the human female then on the basis of chromosome 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of sex chromosome but that one pair is xx type okay xx sex chromosome is present there then this is human female you can identify it's human female on the basis of chromosome what about then human male in human male 22 pairs of autosomes and x and y is one pair that is a sex chromosome xy pair is a sex chromosome then you can identify that is human male so the chromosome which are responsible for determination of sex here you can get uh, understand you can understand easily that how to determine the sex so that is called as sex chromosome okay we'll explain about x and y chromosome you can easily prepare or easily make the definition of sex chromosome now this type of question asks this topic you can see it's a very easy topic to understand yeah it's a very easy topic but there is a little bit confusion in this topic most of the times when question asks in csr net exam or set exam or cet exam or neat exam there are some sentences they have given and that sentences make us confusion okay so we'll see what confusion is actually we are doing over there so now about sex chromosome x chromosome and y chromosome a little find the difference what is difference between x chromosome and y chromosome 
Before this, I will show you structure about X chromo of X chromosome and Y chromosome. Here, this is X chromosome. Okay, structure of X chromosome. Now, what about this is a structure of Y chromosome. Now. From this structure, you can get two, three points from this structure. Okay, you can explain two to three points. What are the points? First point, you can say here, it X chromosome is a longer. Okay, it's a longer than Y chromosome. You can see it's a longer than Y chromosome. Okay, so first point is X chromosome is straight rod like and longer than y chromosome longer than y chromosome what about y chromosome it's smaller than x chromosome smaller than x chromosome what is second difference now before means in previous videos we have already discussed about the types of chromosome and the types depend on the position of centromere so here you can see the centromere is at middle stage okay at middle in x chromosome so we can its type is metacentric we can judge its type that is a metacentric so x chromosome is metacentric meta Centric. What about Y chromosome? There are four types of chromosome. One is metacentric, another one is submetacentric, third one is acrocentric, and fourth one is telocentric. You can see our previous video, then you will get easy ideas about this. So, what about Y chromosome? It is acrocentric. You can see this is a metacentric. If one draw submetacentric, that centromere must be here, and this one is at to up uh, acrocentric if i once say this is telocentric then chromosome must be in only singles this chromatid you can see in telocentric so it is a what type of chromosome it is it is acrocentric acrocentric acro means p okay it is acrocentric which chromosome is it's a y chromosome it's y chromosome is acrocentric chromosome then what is third difference between x chromosome and y chromosome what we can say about x chromosome and y chromosome if we see the x chromosome and y chromosome both have two regions okay which is which are that region homologous region and non homologous region what is homologous region and what is non-homologous region? Let's see. This is a Y chromosome. This is X chromosome. This is Y chromosome. Homologous, it means this is a homologous region. Homologous region. Homologous means similar region. Okay. It's called as similar. And what is this? This is a non-homologous region. Non-homologous means it is a dissimilar region. Homologous and non homologous region we can take third point from this x chromosome have longer non homologous region as compared to y chromosome so third point x chromosome have longer non homologous region as compared to y chromosome so now what is next point Here, you have to make difference. Y chromosome has smaller non-homologous region as compared to X chromosome. Now, next point comes under this is that is euchromatin and heterochromatin. Okay. X chromosome is X chromosome have 
लार्ज ओके लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ और वी कैन सी हियर मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ यू क्रोमेटिन यू क्रोमेटिन एंड लेस अमाउंट ऑफ लेस अमाउंट ऑफ हेट्रोक्रोमेटिन then what is u chromatin and heterochromatin we will find the difference what is its use okay then next point here y chromosome has less amount of less quantity of u chromatin just oppose okay of x chromosome and maximum amount of heterochromatin so if there is maximum amount of heterochromatin or euchromatin okay if we say about euchromatin if maximum amount of euchromatin is there then it is transcriptionally active okay so here x chromosome have maximum amount of euchromatin hence it is transcriptionally active transcriptionally more active here we can say it is transcriptionally active here it is transcriptionally less active which chromosome y chromosome transcriptionally less active or inert inert it means chemically inactive it means chemically inactive now next difference is where the sex linked genes are present okay sex linked genes of x chromosome okay x chromosome sex linked genes of x chromosome present on non homologous region non homologous region of x chromosome sex linked gene of x chromosome present on non homologous region of x chromosome and sex linked genes of y chromosome present on non homologous region non homologous region of y chromosome these are some five to six differences are there so where we confuse we confuse here first one is it is a longer okay x chromosome is longer you must know about this and it is smaller y chromosome is smaller this is where we confused maximum second it is metacentric it is acrocentric second confusion and third confusion is third confusion is x chromosome contain maximum amount of u chromatin due to this it is transcriptionally active okay so here maximum confusion maximum confusion over here and you can see such type of sentences which are asked in different types of exams in last few exams of set okay set and csr net you can see the question and just on the basis of this sentence you can solve the four marks of question generally this question also ask in ct and neat exam so one more similar point is here where crossing over occurs crossing overs occurs on homologous region of both x and y chromosome okay homologous region of x and y chromosome these are some of the differences okay about x and y chromosome most of the times question asked is on this topic so this topic is very important at the exam point of view thank you